Activate the speakers. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Suzette. Mon Capitaine. What is it, Suzette? It is Biff. He has vanished. I do not see him anymore. He was helping me gather the specimens and voila, he is gone. This is not like him, no? Well, use your whistle. I did, Mon Capitaine. He does not answer. Well, maybe you ought to get back to the Argo, Suzette. He'll turn up later. Oui, Mon Capitaine. I... What the... Suzette, are you all right? Come in, Suzette. What is it? What's wrong? Take over, Scotty. Ronnie, get out my gear. Yes, sir. Suzette, can you hear me? Come in, please. Unknown to Captain Fathom, Suzette has been captured by two mysterious figures. She has hustled off to a small island, the hideout of the Baron. We shall do our best to make you feel at home, my dear. Please do not be concerned. Captain Fathom will fix your wagon for this, Monsieur Baron. My dear girl, unless I am very much mistaken, the good captain should be leaving the Argonaut just about now. Unaware that a trap has been set for him, Captain Fathom swims toward the spot where Suzette has been captured. See anything, sir? I found her pickaxe, Ronnie. Have you made contact with Biff yet? No, sir. Not a whimper. Well, keep trying. A mysterious underwater light attracts Fathom's attention. That light, there seems to be a cave of some sort, an undersea's entrance. Hmm. Ronnie, are you tuned in? Yes, sir. I'm going into an opening here. I may be cut off from you for a bit. I'll make contact later. Yes, sir. Watch yourself. Just as Fathom gets into the cave, Trapped. I might have known. Stand by. You should be surfacing into the tank any moment. Yeah, mine air. Our friends will be sure to reward us favorably for this specimen. Now what? Welcome, Captain Fathom. We meet once again. Well, Baron von Rauschmidt. Yes, Baron von Rauschmidt. You may speak. I can hear you perfectly well. What have you done with Suzette? The girl? She is comfortable. But you should be more concerned about your other friend. My other friend? Your porpoise. Observe, there on the operating table. He's under an anesthetic. Biff, what are you doing to him? If you've harmed him, Baron... An experiment, Captain. We are being paid by um, our friend to find out how a porpoise uses his radar equipment. Um, Knowing how much you think of your pet, it would be cool to have you see what happens to him. You're all heart, Baron, even though you're rotten clear through. Enough of this. Open the lock. Shark. Oh, boy. Farewell, Captain. <laughs> Suzette had been captured by the sinister Baron von Rauschmidt and taken into a secret cave beneath his island fortress. Captain Fathom follows and finds himself trapped within a large glass tank located in the Baron's workroom. And now Captain Fathom finds to his dismay that the Baron is about to perform an inhuman operation upon Biff, the mascot of the Argonaut. The Baron releases a hungry shark into the tank with Captain Fathom, and he watches helplessly as the mighty sea beast swims for the kill. Only one chance. This has to work. You have a weak stomach, Carl. Why don't you watch? Sorry, mine hair. I... Uh... No. Very clever. I admire your inventiveness, Captain Fathom. You haven't seen anything yet, Baron. Watch. Quick! Close the lock! Drain the tank! Yeah, Baron. 
How foolish of you, Captain Fathom. Your cleverness is for nothing. Wait a minute. He's gone. Sound the alarm. Max schnell, Dumkopf. Meanwhile, back aboard the Argonaut, an alarm sounds. It's Captain Fathom. Praise be. Go ahead, Captain. I'm back at the entrance of the cave. Remember the Baron? He's caught Suzette. And Biff. Now, here's what I want you to do. Meanwhile, back inside his island hideout, the Baron prepares for his sinister operation. Have they found him? Not yet, Herr Baron. He may be at the entrance. Release the sharks! He can't fight them all! Jawohl! I can delay no longer. This operation. We must remove the sonar from this mammal. Well, as the Baron prepares to operate on Biff, the Argonaut slips through the sea. Aboard, Scotty gives a strange order. Stand by to surface. Prepare to attack. Aye, sir. All set here, Scotty. Blow the tanks. As the Argonaut comes to the surface, the crew awaits Scotty's next order. Surface. Range, Miss Perkins. You want his house? No. Give me the palm tree support. Right. Bearing 360. Range, 2,000 yards. Fire! We are under attack. Who is it? Check the window. Madame Submarine, I'm here. So, he made it back, eh? Quick, man your station. As the Baron and his men race from the room, Captain Fathom prepares to rescue Biff. <laughs> there, there, old fellow. You're going to be all right. I've got to get you back into the sea. I only hope I'm in time. <laughs> Mighty Argonaut toward the Baron's Island Fortress. Ready? Fire! That does it. All hands stand by to dive. Yes, sir. That was close. Dive, dive! And at the entrance to the Baron's underwater cave. All right, Biff. Let's go. <laughs> Now, as Fathom and Biff head out to sea, they make contact with their mighty Argonaut. Ahoy, Argonaut! We read you, Captain. Where are you? We've left the island and are heading due south, about one mile out. Can you pick us up? We're on our way, Skipper. Stand by to come about. As Captain Fathom and Biff make their way back to the Argonaut, they're closely pursued by the Baron's ever-present sharks. Fortunately, they arrive at the Argonaut just in time to elude them. Then, as the huge atomic submarine gets underway... You had us worried, Skipper. Did you see Suzette, Captain? No, I've got her hidden somewhere on the island. You're not going back in that cave, Skipper. Stand by to launch the sea dart. Let's see if we can't surprise them from the air. Meanwhile, at the Baron's hideout, an interesting new development takes place. A Baron, a fishing trawler approaches. So, our friends have arrived. They will help us, Carl. Contact the captain. I wish to speak to him. At once, Herr Baron. The innocent fishing trawler is, in reality, a floating laboratory under the supervision of Captain Stanislaus Mihailovich. I understand, Comrade Baron. But we cannot risk an international situation because of your stupidity. Your request is refused. It will be interesting to see what your superiors think of your actions, Mihailovich. But all I am to do is pick up the sonar information you've been developing. I have not been given instructions regarding any such. Unless you help me to destroy Captain Fathom, you will get no information, and I shall immediately contact Comrade. Wait, 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 wait. You must give us time to consider the situation. I must have your answer at once. So one moment, Comrade Baron. We are sorry, Comrade Baron, but the situation now calls for the utmost discretion on our part. What do you mean by that? Uh, you are about to be attacked. Uh, we will stand by to watch what happens. Hello. Hello. What is the matter with these people? He cut me off. He said we were about to be attacked, Herr Baron. I knew it. Sound the alarm. Captain Fathom is returning. Over the island, Ronnie. Stand by. Yes, sir. Now remember, once I've landed, you take the sea dart and wait for me at the cave entrance. Got you, sir. You have your equipment? Affirmative. 
Hold her steady. Here I go. As Captain Fathom drops from the sea dart, he uses all the skill at his command to fly toward the Baron's hideout. Boy, I hope this works. Carl, all approaches covered? Yellow Miner, we give him good reception this time. Suzette has been captured by the sinister Baron von Rochbett and is imprisoned within his secret island fortress. The Baron is contacted by a seemingly innocent trawler commanded by Stanislaus Mihailovich and is informed that Captain Fathom and his sea dart is about to attack the island. But the intrepid captain has a more clever plan. He instructs Ronnie to take over the controls of the sea dart, climbs out of the speeding craft and using his bird suit, jumps into space. Captain Fathom flies toward the Baron's hideout. If he misses the island, he will land directly in front of the Baron's watchdogs. Tremendous sharks that guard the Baron's fortress. Watch. He made it. Wow. All right, Ronnie. Get going. Now for phase two. Inside the Baron's hideout, Suzette shouts for the guard. Hey, you! Guard! What is happening? I wish to speak to the Baron. Nick is in the Americana. I've got to get out of here. Nine, Fraulein. Quick, Suzette. Where are the keys? There, on the wall. How to get you out of here? I was so frightened, Monsieur Fathom. We're not out of this mess yet. There. It's unlocked. Now follow me. Meanwhile, Ronnie and the Sea Dart heads for the entrance to the undersea cave. There he awaits Captain Fathom and Suzette. I'd better alert the Argo. Come in, Argo. This is Sea Dart. Meanwhile, in the Baron's control room. The prisoner has escaped, the Baron. It's Fathom. He's inside again. See all the passageways. Much schnell, Dunkoff. Ya bull, Abel. Uh-oh. They're on to us. Now what do we do, Monsieur Fadam? The Baron goes according to plan. We put into operation phase three. And the Baron? <laughs> Open the valves. Flood the passageways. Go on, man, here. Mon ami, the water, we were drowned. Take a deep breath and follow me, Suzette. We'll have about 30 seconds to get out of here. Hey, it worked. Remind me to thank our underwater demolition team for that one, Suzette. And I wish to thank you also, my dear Captain Fathom, for making your capture so simple for me. The Baron! <laughs> well, fancy meeting you here. Is this the end of Captain Fathom and Suzette? The opening to the Baron's hideout, not realizing that Captain Fathom and Suzette have again been captured. What's keeping them anyway? The cave's so dark. If only... It's the Argonaut. Come in, Argo. It's Biff, Ronnie. He's whistling up a storm. Nobody aboard can understand him. Put him on intercom. I'll listen. Right. <laughs> Got it. Let Biff out of the tank, Miss Perkins. But the sharks. He can take care of them. Let him go. Right. Out here. Yeah. What does this mean? What does Biff have in mind? Watch and see. Here he comes. Good boy, Biff. me, my dear Captain Fathom. But you must realize I cannot afford the luxury of your company any longer. Tell me all about it, Baron. We're in no particular hurry. Once you and the girl are gone, we can easily take over your atomic submarine. My um, friends will pay even more for the Argonaut than for the stupid sonar experiment. Here's a boy, Herr Baron. Quick, push him up the dock. <laughs> Carl? Jawohl, mein Herr. Release the rest of the sharks. Jawohl, Herr Baron. Here come the 
the Baron Shark. Is this the end of Captain Fathom? I've got to get the scuba gear to them before they drown. As the hungry shark dives, Biff comes to the rescue. Are you all right, sir? Thanks to you and Biff. Can you breathe, Suzette? Oui, mon capitaine. He was close, no? I suggest we grab the sea dart and leave, sir. Right. Back to the Argonaut. Now I'm mad. Range, Miss Perkins. 2,000 yards, dead ahead. Stand by to fire, Scotty. Aye, Skipper. Biff aboard, Ronnie. Yes, sir. Then fire. Take her top side, Ronnie. Yes, sir. Ahoy! Can we give you water rats a lift? Very funny, Captain. You may win the battle. But I shall win the war. Drag him aboard, Scotty. Aye, Skipper. I've got a nice warm anchor locker just waiting for him. Ahoy, Captain Fathom. Greetings. The fellow's going to be here long? Just passing by, comrade. Uh, the fishing is very poor in these waters, huh? Right. Unless you like sharks, comrade. Uh, we get the message, Captain. Perhaps we meet again, huh? We'll see, comrade. We shall see.